Hello, today we're gonna talk about cleaning your sewing machine. Every sewing machine needs to be cleaned. The one we're cleaning today is a Baby Lock Joy, but they all need to be cleaned and most of them are this done this way. So let's get started. You should have gotten with your sewing machine um, some items that go with it. For example, I put mine in a kit in a little plastic container with all my supplies so I don't lose them. But in that kit should be a tool similar to this. And you're gonna take the flat edge side of this screwdriver and you're gonna open this up. You're gonna turn it to the right to loosen it. Until these screws come out. then you can just wiggle it out or unscrew it rather not really wiggle it put that to the side and do the same thing with this one turn it to the right to loosen it i've got them pretty tight so they're not wanting to come out but you're gonna turn it to the right to loosen it And then you can start unscrewing it with your hand. And put this one to the side. And so now you've got both of these out. You're gonna take this cover of your bobbin plate off, take this whole plate off, and you're gonna see dust, dirt, all kinds of things down here. See all that? Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see it. See all that dust right here? That is not supposed to be there. So, let me reposition okay. you, sorry. We are going to get that out. See all that? That's bad for your machine. And obviously by the look of this, it's been too long since I've done this. I'm gonna get into my kit and there is a brush in your kit. You're gonna get this tool and you're gonna get it in there and get all that dust out. Some people say that you can use air and some people say you can't. So I just err on the side of caution and I don't. If there's a piece I can't get to and I have to have it out because it needs to come out, then I'll shoot a tiny little bit of air in there. But I try not to if I don't have to. And most of the time, I don't have to. So you're gonna get all this dust out. That dust will bog that motor up and it will burn that motor up. So you do not want to leave all this dust in here. And again, I've waited too long to do mine. Don't wait this long. I've seen worse, but there was a lot in here. So I'm glad I stopped and did it. It may take five, 10 minutes and you're in a hurry like me, it's still worth doing it. So you don't wanna mess your machine up. And now I'm gonna show you all I got out of there. All of that right there. None of that was supposed to be in there. That's the lint from the thread and use of the machine. So throw that away. And now that I've got all that dust out of here, inside of this bobbin, where the bobbin goes, there's a little hole. I'm gonna take this oil and I'm gonna put a drop or two inside of that hole. And then I'm ready to put it back together. It's as easy as that. So I'm gonna put it back here and I'm gonna put my screws back in. And once I get these screws back in, then all I gotta do is put my bobbin back in and start sewing again. So it's not hard, but it is a necessary evil. It's not fun, but if you don't do it, 
you will wish you had. <clears throat> so it's very important to regularly do this. I try to do it once a week, but I've been running here at the shop lately and I have put it off, which was my mistake. So make sure you do that so you don't mess up your machine. Now to put the bobbin back in, you have the thread going off the left side of the bobbin and you're going to put it down into that hole. You're going to turn this thread. There's a little bitty, bitty catch right here in the silver part of the bobbin holder. You're going to come around that and under it. And now that thread is set in there. Then to thread the machine, you're gonna take your thread and pull it under this silver hook right here. Under that, down here, up to the left, down the right, up to the left. Then you're gonna move your wheel on the side of your machine to where this hook will show up above the machine. You're gonna go behind it to the left of it, down. Now that you're down here, there's a hook right here. You're gonna go to the back side of that hook and put that thread in that hook. And you see that hook right there? You're gonna go behind that hook. Now, let me get my scissors. I got my thread too long. You're just gonna thread the needle Then put it under this foot behind it. Turn the wheel to the right of the machine towards you to pull that bobbin thread up. And once you've got your bobbin thread up, pull it out from under, put this top back on, and you are ready to sew. Have a great day.